What is going on, everyone? It's your guy, Cole Jackson, back here in the Russell Street Report film room on Two Guys Watching Football, and we are going to be diving in to the man that I am the most excited about. You knew it was coming. It's the Ronnie Stanley film room. Let's get right into it. Before we do, hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you guys are new here. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let's try and get this video to... Let's get to 50 likes, so be a part of that. Uh, so let's jump right into it here. I want to go over this really quick. Um, this is from my guy at Yoshi2052. Um, obviously, a lot of talk about his snaps. We had 43 McCary left tackle snaps to Stanley's 22. McCary playing seven drives. Stanley playing three. Looked like a uh, rotation early on with, with Stanley starting. McCary playing second drive. Stanley playing third. Stanley not then playing again until the opening drive out of the half before he was shut down for the day. So um, we heard John Harbaugh say it was a rotation. It looked like they were going to rotate. Did they? Was this always what the rotation was? Did he have to sit out? Um, and I'll, I'll just give you guys a really quick kind of intro into my summary of Ronnie Stanley's game before I give you the evidence and, and really show it. But I would say a lot to be positive about. The mobility is back. Um, his stride length, specifically the depth he's getting, his quickness out of his stance, his comfort level, all things that look much different than that Raiders game last year. So the question is, how consistent can Ronnie Stanley get? Can he do this over a full game? Is it going to hinder his play to play longer? Those are the key questions now. But from what we've seen, you got to be excited. So let's go in. You guys want to see the evidence? You know I got it. Let's dive into the film. Here with some Ronnie Stanley pass sets and... What I really want to focus on is his mobility throughout these. So we'll run it through and then we'll come back and, and really look at his steps. So we're going to get a quick pass here. You see 57 stepping up the loop. Um, not, not a long set there. It was a quick pass. But um, you got to watch here because you're going to get 58 coming downhill and then 57 is going to loop up. And so you're going to see Stanley use that inside hand, put it on the shoulder, pass it to Powers here. And, and start to kind of step towards the linebacker. So let's run it through slowly. So there goes 57 stepping up. And you see Stanley read it. So that's why he's going to take such a deep step. So right there, he's taking his deep step. And I like that because it's fast. He's out quick. And then he squares. And he squares. And then he's able to take those steps back while he diagnoses. See that hand come up. Powers is going to take over. And then he's going to square up the second rusher. So this is kind of what we're used to seeing with Ronnie Stanley, but it's right here. So you're going to see him take his first kick step. So just for terminology tonight, when I say kick step, I'm referring to his outside step or his outside foot. When I say post step, it's his inside foot. And I'll keep making that distinction throughout it, but just so we're clear on terminology. So there's his kick step. He widens and then he brings it in. See right here how he gets down into a nice base. He's reading what's going on. He sees 57 coming. So he's going to take that step back and get some more depth while passing off. And then you see that quick kick step right here start to plant as he's squaring up 57. So, I mean, the ball comes out. It didn't really matter. But just good, good movement here. Like this looks like the Ronnie Stanley that we, we all know and love. Um, so that's, that's the exciting thing. So now we get him in here against Trey Hendrickson, 91. Let's watch this through and we'll come back. And this is really, this this is the rep where if you're like, why should I be excited about Ronnie Stanley being back? Th this is it. This is peak Ronnie Stanley movement. Um, so first of all, what I want to focus on is this quickness out of the stance, out of the snap. So the ball goes right there. He's already stepped. So if you compare him to Morgan Moses, because they're both taking the same step, He's already made that step, a step on the left in his kick step before Moses has even landed his first step. And then there's that second step. So he takes two steps in the time it takes Moses to take one. And you can see right here, he's back. He's got a good posture in his base. He's moving. He's squaring. And Hendrickson is going to come in. Gets a little narrow right here, but then he, look at right there. And he sets that back foot. And he has had no issue throughout any of this planting those ankles. So right here, as he transitions, 
And what he's doing here is he's trying to give himself a little depth on Hendrickson. Hendrickson wants to get his hands on early. See how he's already got his hands out? He's taking those steps back, and he's getting the underhooks in. He gets those underhooks under into the armpits. We talk about armpits all the time. Set, and then he's just going to right there drop his anchor. You can't really see his, uh, his post foot because of the uh, Ben Powers man here, but you can see him plant that outside foot, drop his anchor. And the beauty is, see how he maintains that? So where Hendrickson is right now, this is the back of the pocket if Lamar Jackson didn't have to float because of the pressure. Um, if you go and look at the right side of the line, watch right here, Zeitler and Moses are going to miss the loop here from, uh, well, sorry, I shouldn't say Zeitler. Zeitler sees it right here. Moses doesn't pick up the loop from Wilson. Everybody else hands off right. See right here? Everybody starts to hand off right. So Lamar rolls out that way, but... You can see no issue here, and what I like here is that as Ronnie gets to the arc of the pocket, see Lamar there after he's taken a step back, this should be roughly where the mark is. Stanley's prepared to push him out the back of the pocket right there. See how he's still got his back squared to where the pocket would be? So if Lamar had to step up, it'd be right in this area. And that's really the beauty there. Like That's just a full, complete rep from Ronnie Stanley in pass protection. Let's get another one here. See someone try and beat him with the inside move, and he picks it up really well, allows the completion downfield. Um, so this is also just, you're going to see Ronnie take his kick step there, and he plants, and then watch this post step take a hard inside step here. Right there. So there he is, there he is, and then inside hand, going to come right up into that armpit right there and there's that stop sign and he's just going to stay with him sit drop your anchor gets a little bit of a push there but Ronnie still got him so really good job picking up that inside move and definitely relevant because we're going to see right here this PFF didn't mark him with a pressure I would I would mark this was one pressure allowed by Ronnie Stanley Hendrickson's going to do the same thing and this is what makes Hendrickson such a good pass rusher. So you're going to see him dip his outside shoulder in, force Lamar out. Lamar throws it away. Um, so, again, I, I, I'm shocked that PFF didn't, uh, didn't uh, pr give, give Stanley a, a pressure here. But you're going to see him take this deep step with his outside foot. And then right there. And Hendrickson is just going to work that rip right up under his post hand. So right there. And you see he's pushing this outside hand up right there. And Stanley just didn't get that post step through fast enough. So let's see it. So when he takes that outside step, I think he took, he just got a little bit too outside. Right here, he needs to hit this more up. And you see right there, you can't really, well, no, you can see, that's flat. You want it to be a little bit more diagonal, because as he does that diagonal, he puts the inside stop sign up. So that's really what could have gone better there. And by the time Hendrickson gets under, Stanley can't do anything with this inside hand. There's nothing to put his hand into. And Hendrickson just works through it. But that's, I mean, Hendrickson's a good pass rusher. That's what makes him special. Um, you know, not a huge deal there. Let's see Stanley again on this one. Just again, good movement skills, picking up Hendrickson inside, being available to uh, to pick up the outside man. You see 57 doesn't come. He's just going to give that inside help, and he's just going to keep working that post step as 30 tries the loop. And he just can't do anything against Ronnie there. But... Just good movement skills to stay with Hendrickson through that. Powers picks it up well. Does a good job of getting that. He can't really see it, but he's got that, that outside hand across here into the outside armpit. Stanley right there. You can see the push. Watch Hendrickson. See how his, see how his neck's jerking back right here, that way? Right there. That's just Ronnie giving that inside help. So they're doing a good squeeze on him. Lamar rolls out. That's the, this is the miss to Duvernay. Oh, wide open. And then I think we got one more pass set. So he's one-on-one -on -one here with Hendrickson. 
And that's just, like, the ball comes out quick, but look at his movement skills. And again, look at his foot. Boom. He's already planted a step. No one else on the line has taken a step yet. Boom. I've already taken one step. <laughs> There's two steps before, uh, as everyone's taken their first step. I don't even think Morgan Moses has taken a full step yet. One, two, and Moses is just taking a second step there. And look at the square, the fluidity, hits him with the double hand. Just, oh, Ronnie Stanley is back, folks. Oh, you can't not be excited about that. Um, here, this this is, uh, I don't know what to call this play. So what you're going to get on this one, I've seen it called a type of power. I know my guy Michael Crawford called it a counter read. Um, I don't really, I, I, there's definitely a read going on here, and I'll explain why in a minute. But you're going to get down blocks, from this side of the line, it almost looks like a power. And you guys have heard me explain power a hundred times. And you're going to get a pull from Linderbaum and a pull from the backside offensive tackle. So I've seen it called counter read. Um, I think the reason, watch Lamar in the backfield. So they're not taking counter footwork, but you're seeing the handoff to the opposite side of where the run's going. And then Dobbins is going to go inside there. See, so that's what I think the counter is. So the fact that the handoff was to this side and the pullers are going the other way. So, anyway, that part doesn't really matter, but watch Ronnie Stanley here. You're going to see him bang down and then pick up 57 as he comes off. Boom, get into 57. You know, really good run block there. Um, really good play by Jermaine Pratt here. He reads the pull. You can see him right here keeping an eye on Linderbaum and Moses. He's going to read the pullers, and he jumps right into the gap. So... The reason this run isn't as successful is because you have one, two, three linebackers right in your run gap. Gap's coming through here. So you're getting Linderbaum on the first pull doing a kick out. Moses is coming through, and he's basically got two linebackers to block. So that's never a good sign. He's going to hit one. You kind of got Powers getting bold on the inside too as he took over from Stanley. Good play by the big nose. So, that's kind of what happened there, but look at the mobility. Let's focus on Ronnie Stanley here. Nice wide base coming out of his three-point. He's going to bang down, and then he's going to climb level two both times. Look at him getting that inside hook right up there, right there. Good block. He's got him sealed. JK caught, cut, cut it back in, but good block by Ronnie Stanley there. Good mobility. So, same thing here. See, there goes center right tackle again. And then you're going to get the bang down by Ronnie. And then he's going to climb up. And pretty insane. Uh, watch Linderbaum here. Takes 57, turns him, and then gets into 55. So Linderbaum's out here blocking two guys. Just really good work. See him loop that outside hand in. <laughs> he's so fun to watch. Moses is going to keep coming. If Moses could have got into Vaughn Bell, this would have been a heck of a run play. Bell steps up, though from down deep to, but watch Ronnie Stanley again, what I really want to show here is his mobility, boom, and then get into the second level, ends up falling there, but just, I really like him on the combo blocks here, he's quick out of his stance, watch him out of his stance, boom, into level two, linebackers played their power game, or their gap game really well, but let's go wrap it up, so I mean, you can see it right there, folks, um, the evidence is there, the movement skills are back, this isn't just you know, a couple reps where it kind of looked all right. It was a couple reps where he's moving like Ronnie Stanley. So again, it comes down to, can Ronnie Stanley do this consistently for 60, 65, 70 snaps a game? How quickly can he get there? Um, and can he stay healthy? So I think my big takeaway from Ronnie Stanley's first action back in 705 days, it, it's not... Does he have the ability? I think the answer is yes. I think we can see it. It's how consistent he can he be, how much can he maintain that, how quickly can he get up to speed. That's all I have for you guys today. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Peace out, everyone.